Hello pretties, we are super excited to bring you the Pretty Actions Holiday Bokeh Collection. This collection boasts of 105 gorgeous, dreamy bokeh light overlays that add that extra cheer to your holiday images. Uh, guys, we've got multicolored lights, green and red lights, uh, the creamy gold lights, and of course we have our handy dandy, super easy to use applicator actions, and I'll show you how that works, um, and how you can easily add blur or turn your lights green and red throughout the whole process. It's as easy as a click of your mouse. You're gonna love it. Not only do we have the regular bokeh images, uh, but we also have gorgeous snowflakes, Christmas trees, gingerbread men, and stars. Guys, this collection is just jam-packed, so let's go ahead and take a quick look here. We're going to add some pretty string lights behind this girl in our wonderful Christmas image. So let's run the bokeh applicator. I'm just going to click on it and press play at the bottom of my actions panel. Okay, and we're going to read our handy-dandy instructions and press continue. Okay, we're going to scroll down to our string lights. I'm going to use bokeh strings too. Uh, click place. Now, just a real quick thing to mention. Um, and actually, let's take a look at our collection real quick here while I have it open. You have the green and red multi-lights. Um, the beautiful multicolored multi-lights. We have our classic golden creamy lights. Okay, you have your string lights here. There's some candy cane overlays, and here we start getting into the shapes. The gingerbread men, snowflakes, stars, and last but most certainly not least, the Christmas trees. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back up to my string lights. I have bokeh strings to select it. I'm going to click on place, and I actually want these to appear shorter, so I'm just going to kind of position it up here. If I want to reposition it later, that's no problem. I can absolutely do that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to press enter. Ta-da! Um, let's see here. Now, if I do want to move it, I can just click on my little move tool and click on the actual overlay down here at the bottom of the layers menu. And I could just move that around, maybe make the strings a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. I'm really liking this, and I'm going to leave it as is. Now, of course, there's a string right in the middle of the subject's face. So, of course, we don't want that. And good news is there's a super simple way of removing that. The magic of Photoshop is layer masks, guys. We have a built-in layer mask here. It's just the little white rectangle next to your overlay. So, I'm going to click on it. Make sure my brush is selected. Make sure the opacity is at 100%. And I can make it smaller and larger by using my left and right bracket keys. Remember when using layer masks that black conceals, okay? So I have black at my foreground color right here. I can click on this little arrow to switch in between or double click to select the color black, okay? Black conceals and white reveals. So I'm using black to conceal my overlay in specific areas of the image. Now, layer masks are very forgiving. I'm going to make a mistake here and accidentally, <laughs> we'll say that was an accident, guys, um, remove this string light. So if white reveals, then I'm going to switch white to the foreground color and just easily paint over that. Okay, super easy and forgiving to use these. These are also stackable, and I'll show you that here in a moment, uh, and very customizable. Look at this. I can click on Brighten, and just my lights are going to brighten here. I can click on Darken, and they look a little bit more golden and twinkly with this deep, rich brown background here. Desaturate, and we'll have just classic white lights. That looks nice with Brighten. Uh, add warmth and we can make the lights more golden and you can also click on that particular layer and adjust the opacity. Okay, if you wanted to add just a little bit more warmth, we could take that down a little bit. Uh, we're going to leave these as is. I think they're really nice. Okay, and we're going to click our bokeh applicator is already selected. I'm going to press play. Continue. Scroll down here. We're going to select bokeh strings too again in place. Okay, notice how um, I, I'm able to move my overlay still, so I'm just going to take that and kind of match it up here. 
press enter to place. Okay, and notice how that stacked directly on top of the original overlay that I had run first. So super easy to use. And all of the additional options will apply only to this new overlay that I've applied, just as all the additional options for the first overlay will apply to that one. So um, very, very straightforward. How cool is this, guys? We are done. This was super fun to use, and the options are really limitless. You'll see this as we keep going on with our edits and applying the overlays. You can mix and match overlays. You can use more than one, as we did here, to create a different look. The string lights are actually longer, but we made them look shorter in this image. So super easy to do that. Let's move on to our second image, and we're going to use our bokeh applicator. Press continue, and let's scroll down. We're going to use Boca Classic 10. Click place and enter. And all we have to do is just remove some of that bokeh from her head here. I'm gonna click on my brush. I clicked on the layer mask. We're gonna bring black back to the foreground. My opacity is at 100%. And you may want to zoom in a little bit closer than I am and just be a little bit more careful. I just want to zoom through this edit so I can really show you guys the goodness of this collection and all that it has to offer. So I could actually leave this image as is, but I kind of want to add a little bit more bokeh over here on the left. I like those twinkling lights. In this particular image, I don't want it to look quite so contrasty, so I'm just going to take the opacity and bring it down a little bit to around 80. I like that. And we're going to add another bokeh overlay. Actually the same one. So I'm gonna click bokeh classic 10, place. And I'm gonna turn it on its side here. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect at the moment. Yeah, let's just try that, press enter. Now of course I'm gonna have some masking to do here. Again, I'm gonna click on the white rectangle next to the overlay that we now know is the layer mask. Black is still the foreground color because I was just working with the other layer mask there. And I'm just going to go over the edges here and kind of erase some of this, that hard line. And you can turn that on and off just to get a good look of how it's affecting your image. Okay, so I really like that. And again, I'm going to take the opacity down to about 80%. Okay, I just have to say, how cool is it that we can get these awesome holiday twinkly lights in the background and make this image look so cheery and festive without actually having lights there. And I think one of your favorite things is going to be that not only will these take you less than a minute to apply, but if you're creative, which I know you are because uh, being a photographer is an art in itself, you have just so many options to create the look you want and really just add that extra magic touch to your image. So let's keep moving on here, guys. I know you're itching to see a few more uh, examples of what these bokeh overlays can do to your beautiful images. We're going to add one of the multi lights. I'm gonna click place. Um, Press enter, and I'm actually gonna resize this one a little bit more. I'm gonna click on the overlay and my move tool, and uh, you sh press shift and click to keep the image proportions, otherwise the proportion can get a little bit wonky. Uh, I'm just gonna make this uh, about this size. I think I like that. I can always resize it later if I want. I'm gonna click on brighten to brighten that up a bit. Okay, and I want to add another overlay and I may make a few changes. And actually, real quick here, let me click on the layer mask, grab my brush tool and erase this bokeh. It's kind of sticking out there, it's only half a bokeh circle. So press play and I'm actually going to run the same one again, place. And I'm gonna have to resize that. And I could easily resize that before. I kind of like to eyeball it and do that after. Uh, if you want to flip your overlay, you can with your overlay selected, which mine is, you can go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Uh, you can do that vertically as well, of course. I love that. Okay, press enter. 
And now, of course, I have some masking to do here. So it's only going to take me a moment. I'm actually just going to skip through this part. Okay, voila, just like magic. Um, now, I did just notice that I want to erase that little half bokeh hanging out there. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the first overlay. I kind of, I want my bokeh to fade. So there's two things I can do. I can just lower the opacity of my brush and just kind of keep brushing over that because I don't want it to be quite so noticeable over the tree. Uh, just kind of fade like that. Okay, that's probably the easiest, most customizable way. If I go back in my history, just go back a few steps, you can grab your gradient tool, make sure it goes uh, black to white there, I just reset my colors. Whoops, one moment here. Of course it would help if I had the actual overlay selected, I think I went back a step too far. Um, okay, so the layer mask, there we go, got that selected, and I'm just going to click towards the end here and just, you know, that's going to gradually blur the side, or not blur, but gradually um, reduce the opacity from whichever side you're dragging from. Okay, so two easy, super simple ways that you can do that, and we're done. Bam. So much fun. I know you guys want to check out another edit, and we are just going to add some multicolor lights here. Let's press play and take a look at what we have. We're going to use Boca Multi number two. Press place, enter, and we're done. How easy was that? I bet you weren't expecting that. We're done. We're not going to flip it. We're not going to do anything crazy with this one, although, of course, we could, which is good to know. Um, so I'm just going to bring up the opacity of my brush and erase these tiny little bokeh uh, lights on top of her, and we're done. I know you guys are loving this, and I'm going to wrap this up so you guys can dig into this collection yourselves and just have a blast uh, experiencing this collection and getting to play with the gorgeous bokeh light overlays. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something a little bit different and add some snowflakes to this one. You guys are going to love all of the different festive holiday shapes that we have to add to your image to add that extra uh, ch holiday cheer. So let's see here. Um, these are the stars. There's my snowflakes. I'm going to select snowflake number three and press enter. And I'm just going to use my move tool to reposition this. Um, make sure you have your overlay selected. If you click on your move tool and you're trying to move it around and it's not really working, probably because you don't have your overlay selected. I am guilty of that sometimes, but that's okay. Um, now I just clicked on my layer mask. I'm going to use my brush. Make sure black is the foreground color. I know I'm just getting a little repetitive. I just want to make sure that you guys feel really comfortable um, and using your layer masks. They're very easy to use and fun. Um, okay, so there we go. I can leave it as is. Oops, I actually want to desaturate. I'm going to click on desaturate. And now they're very white and clean, and it matches this image a lot more. So I like that. Uh, I'm going to press play again so I can make it just a little bit more fun and add some more snowflakes. Um, let's find our snowflakes. Here we go. And I'm going to add snowflake number one. Enter. And of course, again, I can be... I can move these before I press enter. I'm just not doing that at the moment. So what, whatever your preference is, just know that you can always move and resize your overlay at any point in the, the edit. Just make sure that overlay layer is selected. Okay, so let's desaturate. Uh, I'm just going to turn it on and off using my little uh, eyeball uh, just to see how that's affecting my image. Um... One more thing that I want to do, let's click on the overlay layer mask for my original uh, overlay that I had put on her. I just want to remove that snowflake. It was a little bit distracting and we are done. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me here for these last few minutes and discovering how amazing and wonderful the new holiday bokeh collection is. It's so easy to use, so much fun, and your creative brain will be super happy 
uh, once you have the chance to play with these. So I'm gonna get going. So you can discover the magic of this collection yourselves. And of course, as always, we really hope that you all enjoy using this collection and playing with it just as much as we did making it for you all.